bringing that up because lately the prophetic word has been sabak, which means a lesson, a a stern lecture. It means to forsake. Okay, and um, we do not want to be forsaken. So we want to we want to learn from the lesson, the lessons given. We want to pass these tests. But it, the next words that he was giving was salah. And um, this has a lot to do with a missile and petition. And it got me thinking that why would petition be involved? I get the missile. There's a snare. There's a trap. Sabak means there's, there's going to be a trap for the enemies, for Yahusha's enemies, who he considers enemies. And he considers enemies those that are partaking in, in these and these um, and slander and gossip and and um, revenge okay and he he considers those that are partaking in those sins it doesn't matter if you go to church it doesn't matter if you go to church five times a week if you're still partaking in those sins that means you have been a goat in the church okay but going back to the missile and the those are the are the arrows launched by um, the angels. Those are the traps set. And it also says petition. And, and, and ironically, Satan still gets to talk to Yahusha up there in heaven. He still goes up there just like he did with Job. And he petitioned request of testing to the flock. Not to the goats, to the flock. And you're like, why would he do that? Why is he allowed that that type of that type of um, level of um, connection with Yahuwah? Well, you know what it says in the Bible for what the enemy has planned for bad, Yahuwah trans. Um, um, transfers it for good it's not that I'm just paraphrasing so what I'm saying is like what he did with Job and he says have you considered your servant Job and remember the story of Job he had a really terrible time at first he was having an abundant life and then that's when Satan was like I bet you he's having an abundant wonderful life and honoring you and praising you because you He's not been tested because not, everything is perfect in his life and he has everything he shall ever wanted and needed. And and he has of abundance, so he doesn't have to worry about it. So that's what he was saying. I bet you that, that's the reason why. And so then Yahuwah's like, hmm, okay, I will let you test him, but do not kill him. So imagine if that is the case in this time frame. Is... There's traps set for the enemy, but on the on the on the on the other hand, there's petitions. He's, he, have you considered so and so? Have you considered yourself? Right? And imagine if that is happening. And then what? What Yahuwah wants to do is prove that you are still His loyal servant, even though whatever case may be. And um, so back to what Brandon was mentioning on that prophetic dream, that vision that he received was he's bringing forth in front and center gluttony and sloth and slothfulness as sins to the same level of um, deadly sins, seven deadly sins to the same level. And so, if this is really the case, ooh, that are those are an additional areas that we all need to be um, mindful of to not partake in. You know, 
to have a healthy diet, a healthy weight, and to not be lazy. And it's like, how could laziness be the one that's a deadly... You know what? Let's just not be those things. You know, that's just not because overall it affects our health and it affects our relationships and it affects our um, our productivity. It affects our our health and and um, if this is truly happening, then we don't want to risk anything that would. Would, would put us in the crossroads of severe punishment. And you're like, wow, it's just so strict. But you know what? I don't make the rules here. <clears throat> I will um, attach that video of Brandon's in the description so you can watch that one and see what I'm talking about. But overall, I just wanted to share that because if you're wondering how can I uh, whoa. How can I alleviate? Excuse me. How can I alleviate the the wrath that could possibly be coming towards one's life? It is acts of righteousness and kindness and compassion. All right. I'll see you on the next one. The next one um, is going to be speaking about the prophetic dream that my son received um, it's about robots and a potential virus alright I'll see you in the next one Yahuwah bless you